Hello everyone, this is Rita Rue of Creative Artmosphere and I am here tonight to get some more practice in. So if you'd like to practice along with me, feel free to do so. This is figure drawing. I like to get my practices in on the live sessions here. And I'm all set, just about ready to begin. Without further ado, here we go. I'm drawing a man in a suit with his right leg kind of kicked out there. This represents his head here. Just this simple shape, just like that, one circle. Let me know where you guys are watching from, if you are tuned in. want to thank everybody for all the recent subscriptions. So this is the neck and here's the shoulder line here. He's got some broad shoulders there. I'm starting out with the, the uh, stick figure. And then his waistline. Let's see his chest goes out a little bit like that. And his waistline is going in because that leg, that right leg is kicked out some. So this pelvic area is tilted a little bit here. And I'm going to draw the pelvic area in. And then that leg there is just going out to the side. Here's the knee, here's the ankle bone, and here's the foot. And then this one here is going straight down, and here's the knee, the ankle, and the foot right here. So let's go back up and get the shoulders in. Here's that shoulder joint here. Same on the other side. And let's draw in the barrel of the chest here. All right. And let's get the arms in. It's going straight down. Here's the elbow. And his hands are going to his pockets. And this one's straight down here. It's angled out a little bit. Here's the elbow. It's going into this pocket here. So now that I have the skeletal figure drawn in for this, I'm going to go back in with my pencil and uh, form everything out so that way I can erase the first layer which is this charcoal layer that I put down let's see here let's go over the head area here this is the egg shape and then I'm going to put the neck in here and let's go in with the shoulders. They're rounded off a little bit here. Do the same on the other side. Whatever you do on one side is pretty much a given that you'll be doing something on the, uh, the same thing on the other side. Sometimes the angles are a little bit different. Here's the arm right here, the bicep. Using that cone shape to represent the bicep here or this part of the arm, shall I say. And let's go over here since I'm erasing my stick figure with my hand here by mistake. And put a cone here, cylinder. That's a better way to say it, cylinder. And let's put this elbow joint there. And the forearm here, 
represented there. Now the hands, we won't be seeing the hands. I'll put the wrist joint there because they're tucked away in his pocket. So let me draw the elbow joint there and the rest of the forearm cylinder. All right. And then the barrel of the chest here. He's kind of tilted to the side with that leg kicking out there. Hello, hello everyone. Once again, this is Rita Root of Creative Artmosphere. Thank you so much for your time this evening. And if you'd like, just draw along with me. Follow the steps that I'm doing here and see what your figure turns out looking like. This is a time for me to get in some practice. And I hope you take the opportunity to practice if you need to. I know some people, they're really good at this. But this is my time to actually get some practice in to become better at drawing figures. So let me draw this cylinder shape in here for the thigh. And the knee joint right here. And then the lower part of the leg. The ankle bone. And the foot here. And let's draw in this area here. We've got that joint for the hip. And then let's put this cylinder in here for this leg. Stop it about right there. Put that knee joint in. And then finish it off with the last part here that represents the calf portion of the leg. And let's put in the foot. All right, so now that we've got everything drawn in, this is the second layer. We can erase that first layer, which is the charcoal layer with the chamois cloth. That cleans it up a little bit there. And now I can go in and actually do some more shaping here by putting in clothes. Let's see here. He's got on a suit. This is the collar of the suit here. Hope everyone's doing well tonight. We had an ice storm here recently in Michigan. And uh, a lot of trees down in the area. And I uh, thank God that uh, none of my trees in my yard have fallen. Everything's still standing strong. All right. And there's a suit. It's somewhat of a baggy suit that he has on. A lot of material. He's a small guy, but the suit is a large, uh, looks larger. Uh, well, I'll say it's a nice, comfortable fit. I'll say it like that. So let me erase some of these guidelines that are in the... ...portion of the suit here. So it just looks like solid material now. Erase these uh, eraser shavings off. Go back in with my pencil and give this a little bit more definition. 
draw the other collar lapel here I guess that's what you call it suit collar and his shoulders are kind of pointy like a he's got shoulder pads in his suit kind of point there all right coming along here let's do this other arm here this pointy area here shoulder is indicated there in the fold of the clothing you guys forgive me if I get a little nervous I always get a little nervous when I'm going doing live sessions here so bear with me while I get the the nerve it's always uh, when you're going live there's always a chance you can mess up and that's what makes it kind of nerve-wracking but exciting at the same time it's a challenge so I'm putting the pants leg in now and with that said I'm going to erase the sketch lines that I put in for the direction of the body and that's fine if you don't have an electric eraser um, the regular eraser does just fine as well so let's get the rest of this pants leg drawn in this material And let's go over to this side and get the other pant leg in. All right, and let's erase these guidelines here. have to pull this eraser up it's kind of hitting the metal there I don't want to tear the paper So now with the charcoal stick we can go, well I can go back in and uh, put in some directional lines for the shading in the suit. He's got buttons there. Little folds here. Let's see, this leg has the most shadow on it. Material. Shadow going this way and over. And 
a little shadow here. And I'm going to get my blending stick and actually smooth some of this out to make this uh, a little bit more. Actually, I'll use a Q-tip here. And just smooth some of this out. It's going to erase it a little bit there, but I'll go back over it again with uh, those lines were a little too harsh for me, too hard, the edges. So I'm going to just smooth it out and then go back in with a little bit more detail in the folds of the pants. Q-tip is a nice tool to use to uh, do blending with. There's a fold in his arms right there. And let's erase this hard line here because this side of his pants is in the most light. some up here too some of the shading let's get the pencil shavings off of there now I'm going to go back with my uh, number six B pencil and uh, do a little bit more shading here Here's a button, and there's another button to button his suit up there. He's got a wrinkle, a fold, shall I say, in his clothing. Let me clear this out because this is space. All right. And then this goes over his hand and down there, that material. He's got his hand in his pocket. See a little bit of his hand. I'll draw that there. And there's his pocket there. Pants material here. Coming along. There's shadow in this area here. And then let's get this part of his jacket in. Folds here and wrinkles for the bend of his arm. All right, let's finish out this pant leg here. Kind of covers the shoe up a little bit. There's a little fold right here. There's a knee area here. And lightly 
drawing this side of his pant there. Now let's do some work on his face here. I'm going to bring his face down just a tad bit. That neck looks a little too long. So I'm going to stop the chin about right here. Just brought it down a tinch. Let's define the shape of his face just a little bit more. Round that head off about right here. And let's put a shirt top on him. He's got a t-shirt on. Let's make that collar there. And rub out that detail. All right. Coming right along. How long have we been on here? 21 minutes. Okay, we're going to wrap this up really soon. Let's put some shadow in here on his face. I'm not going to do a whole lot of detail. Here's a directional line for the direction of his face. Let's put some ears in there. His eyes will fall about right there. His nose right here. His mouth there. Let's put that hair on his head. He's got a little side part here. A little bit of hair coming down right there. Let's get that Q-tip and smooth this area out. Take away those uh, sketch lines. See how that smooths it out there? And let's get rid of this uh, loose line here. We don't need that. Trim it down a little bit on the sides. And with this Q-tip, I'm also going to put some shading on his neck here under his chin and in the eye area without adding detail. You kind of get the gist of what's going on here. We'll shade that side of his face in a little bit more. Bring that hair down some. Let's shape this up just a tad bit. Put some light in on this side of his face. And let's put some shoes on him. He's wearing gym shoes really quickly. Where is my pen? Here it is. All right. So shoes are just white. Not a whole lot of detail in it. It's got a red stripe going around the foot of the shoe. So let's do this here. Put a little color in here. And let's draw in the opposite side. We're coming down the home stretch, almost finished. There's a stripe going on this side. Let's put that stripe there. Take it all the way back. All right. Let's get some uh, shading in here in the pants area.
Let's see, here's the regular eraser. Well, a push pin eraser, I'll say. I'm going to try to put some highlights in there so it won't be as flat. Give it a little dimension. Put a little detail in here. some shadowing under his feet here right in there and under this foot here and yeah, let's smooth this out that pretty much erased it one more going over with that And I'm thinking, uh oh, I'll get that. I'll have to replace that eraser with the new eraser tip, tib, or whatever you want to call it. a bit more detail right in here in the fold of the lapel little bit more shadow right in here
All right, all right. Let's see, we got a little bit more shadow right in here in this area. All right, a little over 30 minutes in. This is Rita Root of Creative Artmosphere. I think I'm going to wrap this one up. It's a wrap for this live session. I'll be back again with more practice. And I just want to thank everybody for popping in, even if you didn't stay. Thank you for taking a peek. One day, hopefully, we will be able to draw together during the live session. But I appreciate your time. I'm still messing with this thing. But, uh, yeah. That's it for now. This is Rita Rue of Creative Artmosphere. And until next time, bye for now. <laughs>